So we have touched the topic of cyanobacteria. I have explained the topic to all of you. Now we will proceed to another part of this. We will have some short answer questions and after that we will have some long answer questions. So our first question is cyanobacteria is also known as A. Red algae B. Green algae C. Blue-green algae and D. Bacteria So the answer of this question is blue-green algae. Now second question Can cyanobacteria grow at extreme temperatures? Answer is true. It can grow well at temperatures above 50 degrees Celsius and also it can grow at very low temperatures where you can find ice. Third question, the red color of red sea is due to which bacteria or which algae? The answer is, the red color of red sea is due to the cyanobacteria known as Trichodesmium erythraeum. Next question, do cyanobacteria live in symbiotic relationships? Give examples. The answer is yes, cyanobacteria can live in symbiotic relations. Example, cycus coralloid roots, you can see there are nostoc colonies living there. Cyanobacteria as an algal partner in lichens with fungi. Then in the in water funds, azola, anabina is there. In anthocyros thallus also we can see nostoc colonies. Next question, cyanobacteria possess special type of cells which are site of nitrogen fixation. The answer is cyanobacteria possess special type of cells het known as heterocysts which are the site of nitrogen fixation. So this completes our short answer questions. We will proceed to the long answer questions now. Write the differences between cyanobacteria and bacteria. Second question, explain the economic importance of cyanobacteria. Question number three, describe the general characters of cyanobacteria in reference with occurrence, organization of thallus and reproduction. Question number four, write short notes on single cell protein, heterocyst, symbiotic relationship of cyanobacteria. Fifth question, Write the similarities between cyanobacteria and bacteria. Thank you.